Hello, welcome to Faculty. I'm Nathan Watts. I'm the founder and director of the magazine. I study a Bachelor of Education Secondary and have worked within the educational industry for about four years. Hi, my name is Kristen Dudley. I am the article proofreader. I'm a full-time mum and I have studied the Diploma of Children's Services. And I am Ori Gravel and I'm the social media coordinator for Faculty. I am currently completing a Cert 3 in Early Childhood Studies. So, we're broadcasting this video as a bit of a celebration for the first issue and the release of the inaugural issue of Faculty, uh, the magazine that is basically for Australian educators. So, I started off the magazine with two core aims. First of all, giving education and early childhood students a voice in the community that is often underrepresented in both research and contribution to pedagogy. Secondly, uh, to develop a community of practice between all areas of the educational community, acting as a platform to forum ideas, research, experience and opinions in the industry. In doing so, we have developed a community of practice amongst educators and education professionals across the diverse spectrum. Um, of education industries in Australia, the magazine gave me the opportunity to voice my opinion that would otherwise be disregarded in professional environments. First issue holds true to these aims with featuring, featuring notable academics, teachers, community members and students' work that has been submitted. Dr Patrick Delaney, a postgraduate research fellow with the Learning and Teaching Unit at the Queensland University of Technology discusses the use of video in resources for higher education. Dr. Anne Stewart, uh, Principal of Advantage Diversity and formerly the Director of Equity for the University of Queensland, um, write about how higher education institutes need to identify and implement inherent academic requirements for their courses and programs to cater for diversity. Um, I've written two articles. I discussed firstly about the use of outdoor education as an alternative to traditional physical education in schools as a means to get students involved in physical activity. Secondly, in another article, I just reflect upon my experiences of my first prac placement at a school. Michelle Pedden, a children's service TAFE lecturer discusses the integration of digital traditional play based early childhood setting through the use of EdStep education at Crazy Craft. YMCA Outside School Hours Care Coordinator Sammy Hudgen reflects on her experience as an, as an article entitled, It's Not a Job, It's an Investment in a Growing Life. ACU Education Lecturer and PhD Candidate Rachel Jacobs discusses the competitive market of tertiary education. An early childhood education undergraduate, Rihanna Brickley looks at the partnership Indigenous education and play-based learning through pedagogical play-based learning practices that can be used in effectively implemented, relevant and authentic as shown Indigenous learning experiences and be a base to improve the outcomes of our Indigenous students. Chrissy Cummins, the manager for OSH with YMCA of Brisbane, uh, provides a highly insightful piece into the evolution of the outside school hours care industry. Um, and Liette Peach, a vocational education training educator, discusses the social social inclusion in VET education. Opinion piece, I objectively looked at the early childhood industry and the need for males, male educators within it. Um, Dr Nancy Hore, a career development practitioner with Queensland University of Technology and registered psychologist, writes about where an undergraduate teaching degree can take educators. We also have a collection of great teaching tips from Nathan. Undergraduate education students, Rachel French, Emma Jane, Rachel Clifford. and registered teachers, Ashley Newberry and Matt Russo. 
A lot of effort went into the development of our first issue and it would have not been successful without effort and contribution of all our authors. I'd also like to extend my personal thanks to Dr. Rebecca Spooner Lane, who gave me the initial idea that's our faculty. Um, Dr. K. A., my learning and development tutor, who supported my efforts in the establishment of the magazine from inception right up till now. And a very special thank you to Professor Wendy Patton, the Dean of the Faculty of Education with Queensland University of Technology, whose advice was extremely well received. In addition, I'd also like to extend my thanks to the volunteer production team. All right, Kristen, thank you so much for all the effort you put in and dealing with me. It's all good. You're welcome. <laughs> I'd also like to thank Emma Matthews, our magazine editor, Ruth Alda, and Dr. Patrick Delaney, who have acted as our quality assurance editors, making sure everything's up to scratch before we release it to you. And also, Tristan Williams, our marketing coordinator. We hope you enjoyed our first issue. If you would like to contribute to our next, send an email to submission.faculty.mag@outlook.com. Until next time. Bye. Bye.